Ecclesiastes chapter 6. Instead of a friend, become not an enemy, for thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name, shame, and reproach. Even so shall a sinner that hath a double tongue. Extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. Thou shalt eat up thy limbs, and loose thy fruit, and leave thyself as a dry tree. A wicked soul shall destroy him that hath it, and shall make him to be laughed to scorn of his enemies. Sweet language will multiply friends, and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. Be in peace with many, nevertheless have but one counselor of a thousand. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. For some man is a friend for his own occasion, and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. And there is a friend who be in turn to enmity, and strife will discover their reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at the table, and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. But in thy prosperity he will be as thyself, and will be bold over thy servants. If thou be brought low, he will be against thee, and he will hide himself from thy face. Separate thyself from thy enemies, and take heed of thy friends. A faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that hath found such an one hath found a treasure. Nothing doth countervail a faithful friend, and his excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright, for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. My son, gather instruction from thy youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thy old age. Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth, and wait for her good fruits. For thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from him ere it be long. For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel, and put thy feet into her fetters, and thy neck into her chain. Bow down thy shoulder, and bear her, and be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with thy whole heart, and keep her ways with all thy power. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. When thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. For at the last thou shalt find her rest, and that shall be turned to thy joy. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of glory. For there is a golden ornament upon her, and her bands are purple lace. Thou shalt put her on a, as a robe of honor, and shalt put her about thee as a crown of joy. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders, and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse, and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him, and let thy fruit wear the steps of his door. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord, and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thy heart, and give thee wisdom at thine own desire.